Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. ASML has often become the focus of public opinion in the industry because this company has advanced lithography machine manufacturing capabilities, is the only manufacturer capable of producing EUV lithography machines. The United States restricts ASML from shipping high-end EUV lithography machines and does not allow it to help the rise of China's chip manufacturing industry. The DUV lithography machine has also been included in the export control list of the Netherlands. Fortunately, ASML has obtained a shipping license this year. Faced with the current unpredictable situation, there are rumors that ASML lithography machines will not be sold to China. Shin Bo, president of ASML China, officially stated, China already has 1,400 ASML lithography machines. ASML is the world's leading manufacturer of photolithography machines and its products are technologically at the forefront of the industry. The company continues to conduct research and development and innovation and has launched a series of high-performance, high-resolution lithography machines. This enables ASML to meet the needs of semiconductor manufacturers for smaller, faster, and more energy-efficient chips. Moreover, ASML almost monopolizes the global lithography machine market, with its market share exceeding 80%. Most semiconductor manufacturers rely on ASML's equipment to produce advanced chips. ASML's monopoly position enables it to set market prices and has high bargaining power in the industry. Of course, these are just the surface. Although ASML is at the top of the chip manufacturing industry, it still depends on the face of the United States. ASML uses American technology to manufacture lithography machines, so it must abide by the rules set by the United States. If the United States says it cannot ship EUV lithography machines, ASML cannot ship them. No matter how high ASML's market share is and how powerful its technology is, it cannot compete with the United States. Otherwise, ASML itself will become a thorn in the side of the United States and cause unnecessary trouble. The restricted ASML is in trouble. It cannot sell high-end products, so it is the head office of mid- to low-end products. Therefore, ASML relies on selling DUV lithography machines to maintain operations in mainland China. DUV lithography machines are key equipment for manufacturing mature chips of 14 nanometers and 28 nanometers. These equipments were indeed exempt from U.S. restrictions at the beginning, but the U.S. changed its attitude whenever it said so. The United States, the Netherlands, and Japan reached a tripartite agreement. On September 1st this year, the Netherlands implemented export control rules for high-end DUV lithography machines. The Netherlands did not make things perfect and gave ASML a license to continue exporting in 2023. But after 2024, the license will expire. ASML claims that China already has 1,400 photolithography machines. ASML is frequently restricted by Western countries and has no control over it. Whether it can ship lithography machines to mainland China depends on the wishes of its executives. Faced with the unpredictable situation, 
there are rumors in the industry that ASML will not sell photolithography machines to China. This statement is obviously unrealistic. Western countries cannot completely let ASML lose the Chinese market. Otherwise the lithography machine industry chain will collapse. In response to the rumors, ASML China President Chen Bo said that by the end of 2023, ASML's installed capacity of photolithography machines and measurement equipment in China will be close to 1,400 units. I remember that Shen Bo said in an interview in 2019 that China already has nearly a thousand ASML lithography machines. After so many years, the number has increased to nearly 1,400 units, with an average increase of 100 units every year. All this is because China's demand in chip manufacturing continues to grow and its demand for lithography equipment has also increased. China is the world's largest semiconductor consumer market, with strong manufacturing capabilities and market potential. ASML continues to invest in the Chinese market and provide photolithography equipment, which can meet the Chinese market's demand for semiconductor manufacturing equipment and also help promote the development of China's semiconductor industry. Especially after ASML obtained the DUV lithography machine shipment license, major Chinese manufacturers were frantically placing orders before the end of 2023 to prevent shipments from being impossible in 2024 and affecting production order. ASML has not given up on the Chinese market. Although there may be some restrictions or challenges under certain special circumstances, ASML's business development in China remains strong and its investment and support for the Chinese market continues. Even if the license expires in 2024, ASML can still continue to ship low-end DUV lithography machines to China, and there will be no problem in manufacturing mature chips for customers. ASML's willingness to ship is very strong. On the one hand, China's huge chip manufacturing demand is on the one hand. On the other hand, China's semiconductor industry has achieved rapid development, and a number of competitive local chip manufacturing companies have emerged. There is also a lot of research on lithography machines, from light sources to dual workpiece stages to optical systems, etc. A lot of manpower and material resources have been invested. ASML President Wen Ninka said in an interview with foreign media that China has 1.4 billion people, including many smart people. If they do not share technology, they will do their own research. ASML has clearly seen that China has a firm determination for self-research. If it does not rush to ship lithography machines now, it will have no chance in the future. ASML will continue to sell lithography machines to China, but again, ASML is subject to US rules. It depends on the face of the United States. The equipment it can ship and what kind of equipment it can ship are two different things. If China wants to achieve the most advanced technological breakthroughs, it still has to rely on itself.